All right, so we're checking out the only game where you can craft a sword that you can throw through the entire core of the earth, killing everyone on the planet and ending world hunger. It's Minecraft. Well, I built the broken pickaxe throwing star, but honestly, that that wasn't that wasn't good enough. We have to go all the way at this point. No, I'm serious. I'm gonna do this to everything. I think that there is a way to make like this, but crossbows, <laughs> swords, pretty much anything. And since we one-shotted the Ender Dragon last time, I had to make something particularly difficult for us to defeat. The Ender Dragon has been moved out. He's been replaced by something more powerful. We'll get to that in a little bit after we make the Sword of Destiny. Let us begin. Also, I, um, I'm playing on a cursed seed today, so we'll see exactly what it's like. Uh, that mountainside over there looks like a giant fish to the middle left, and I don't know why, but there is a, uh, very potent phallic looking thing straight ahead of me. If there's one thing that deserves to die, though, it's trees. What's up, fish? I probably didn't have to say it, but get wrecked. Oh, hey, it's man's best friend. How y'all doing? I got a question. You like fetch, right? Oh, I ended up finding something very horrifying. Hold on, Mr. Dog, I found something. I gotta check this out real quick. While I'm down here, I'm also getting a ton of stone, so that's good. Ah, the stone hoe. The hoe gets no love. The hoe is basically like the friend that gets picked last on every single sporting team. Like when the car's full and everyone's going to the mall and there's no more seats left, the hoe is the kid that gets left behind. And so it's grown up bitter and angry. But what if the hoe could be made more powerful? Don't you worry, ho. I've got plans for you. Alrighty. By creating the summoning circle of Satanism for hoes, we have, yes, what I have dubbed the ho obliterator. Look at it. All this land, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's perfectly tilled. You may be saying to yourself, but great. Can you kill a man with a hoe? You cannot. That is not what hoes do. However, if you want appropriate amounts of violence, I did also make this. I'm not gonna lie, this is probably the more violent of, my, of the items that we've made so far. <laughs> See, now I don't have to worry about it looking quite so lame. This looks like something that was made to sever people. Yes, people. Well, and dogs. Oh, God. oh yeah, that does a lot more damage than the pickaxes. This one to see. What's down here? <laughs> ah! You done? You got arrows? You got arrows, aren't you? Get wrecked! Don't mind me with my one and a half hearts. It'll be fine. I had to come out here to the land of these little bunnies to show y'all something. See this? Rookie numbers! One shot, one kill. Look at this. It's depressing. It needs to be made. Better. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now you may be asking yourself, but Gray, what the hell does it do? Well, uh, you see, if you simply use it normally, it's just, it's a normal bow, okay? If you use it like bows were meant to be used, which is to say by throwing them like a psychopath, it does this. <laughs> Yeet! All right, Mr. Cow, I actually need you and your little cow child to die because I'm running out of health here, man. Ooh. Thank you. Look at this place. Looks like a scene out of 300. We'll fight in the shade. You're damn right you will. Mmm. See, you cows are good for something. <laughs> nice. Tastes like fear and regret. That cow was like, why? How? All right, now obviously the next step here was always to make swords completely abusive. Ah, yes, the circle is complete. Do it. All right, now this should make my job a lot easier because now the planet won't get evaporated, but only the creatures will. At least if, if my calculations are correct and this was made appropriately. Let's take a little check here. Oh yeah, that was fresh sushi right there. Ready for this? Bing. Didn't even know. <laughs> All the fish meat is just popping out of the water. <laughs> Hungry? Have a snack. All right, now we do have to get ready here to go toward the nether. So this sword ain't gonna cut it. All right, time to start mining. Yay! This stupid pickaxe is so strong that it will actually pickaxe lava. 
Okay, that throw I almost reached the sun, and now most of the items are just glitching out. This place needs more sun. Look at the guy, the gigantic chunks as they get relieved from the topsoil. And where the hell were you diamonds at? I can't actually throw this pickaxe here because if I do, all hell will break loose. Oh shit, I just threw it. Ah! Just wait until I upgrade this friggin' sword. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Gotta get rid of all these damn stone swords that are ended up duplicating all over the place. Damn it, go away. Oh yeah. What's better than one diamond sword? All the diamond swords. Behold, the diamond sword blade. Uh, where the hell did my sword blade go? I think it travels halfway across the planet, so I kind of have to wait for a while for it to come back. I mean, I still have my bow, I guess, if I need it. Look at it, it just looks like a freaking buzzsaw. It's just a saw blade. Hey guys, I need to test something. <laughs> All right, now obviously we're going straight to the netherite chopping sword and I had to create <laughs> an appropriate target to see how much damage this thing can actually do. So here, oh hold on, let me do it up here. Here we go. <laughs> oh my God. Look at it slowly chew its way through all of them. It takes a little bit because there's so many human bodies in the way. Go, my netherite sword of evil. <laughs> Slay the villagers, cut a swath through them. They're still coming, they're like, why did you do it? Why did you do it? Yeah. Go. Go my arrow rain! No scope 360! For real, it's actually like a like a no scope 360. I can't kill him fast enough. Okay, I finally started to make a dent in this friggin' mess I made. I'm sorry guys, it wasn't it wasn't supposed to be this way. I am your vengeful god! All right, we're definitely ready to go to the nether. No, I saw obsidian around here. Yeah, this is a total non-cursed structure. I appreciate that there was some gold here too. Uh-huh. Appreciate that most of my work was done for me. It's like someone went to go build a portal and then just got tired halfway through. They were like, well, Gray's gonna break everything anyway. You're right. Yeetily deet, piglins. I'm coming for your meat. The hell is this glorious cancer? Take the gold and give me your bacon. I hope you're done with the trades because I'm out of patience. Nothing I love more than grinding down flaming wieners. Look, man, I don't really know how else to describe what exactly you do to get the blaze rods. All right, what part of this hellscape do I have to... Ow. As I was saying, what part of this hellscape do I have to traverse to? It's like the most masochistic set of biomes I've ever seen. Okay, so in my travels on the cursed server, I happened upon a small village here that we can do some additional testing in. I'm not gonna lie, I really appreciate the architectural design that these villagers have here. This dude up here is like, hey, if I hate my neighbors below me, I could just attach my house and kill us all. Okay, um, so yeah, guys, I hate to say it, but this place is ripe for testing real quick before we go take out. I say the Ender Dragon, but realistically, it's it's gonna be something else besides the Ender Dragon. I love this open floor plan you guys have when you couldn't afford or an air conditioning. The old half window, half house plan. Hold on, before we start here, the dream work makes the meme work, so uh, get golden axed, boys. Oh yeah, oh, I think it's gonna be enough. What the hell now, the house is just floating. <laughs> Yeet. The dude up there is like, joke's on you, my property value just went up. Now, obviously, it was only a matter of time. You ready? <laughs> before this happened. Oh yeah, that looks, that looks 100% in game. That is legit. All right, young Ethan over here is going to be the test subject to see just how well this hideous monstrosity works. Yes, continue to undulate just like that. Perfect. Excellent. Hmm. I can see a distinct lack of insanity here. Hold on. Okay, I had to make a few more. Here we go. Oh, yeah. That's more like you. <laughs> yes. Go, my child. Jesus, it's so dangerous to stand by it. Look at the waterfall. 
Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I, I feel like there may have been a battle here. All right, guys. Tell me how this feels. I need y'all to be honest. I appreciate that I just filled the entire area with holes and these three dudes over here are having a conversation on how to kill me and my family. They're over by the water cooler over here. Like, so Gray just found the machine gun crossbow. What are we gonna do about this? One dude over here is like, fuck this, I'm going home. I appreciate that the hoe, the netherite hoe can clear up all the arrows at least. Hey, you're welcome. All right, just need to do a quick test here. Test number one, go. Looks like the machine gun axes work too. So during the trek, uh, I came across this mostly water area of the cursed map. I have to fly in order to do this, but I had to show you something. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. <laughs> there you go. This is how you clear out <laughs> the water biome. <laughs> oh God, the game's breaking. <laughs> Look at what's happening to the water. Eventually when this tsunami reaches land, every villager is gonna get swept away straight to hell. Oh God, I'm at like two FPS. I think that worked out pretty well. Ended up punching a hole through the world too. Oh God, all the fish. Hold on, a few, a few lived. Listen, nothing against you guys. This is mostly for testing purposes before we do the thing. Oh, it's like a water shock wave. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, the game's starting to glitch out now. Uh, releasing these things underwater was like the worst idea I ever had. I'm single-handedly the cause for world pollution right now. Look at how jacked up the water is from all the stuff in it. It's like a random creeper rising up from the underwater. <laughs> The Enderman there. Dude was probably having breakfast and he was like, what the hell happened? A freaking axe came through my roof and the next thing I know, I'm underwater. Anyway, it had to be done. Back to the track. Great. The portal's somewhere inside of a jacked up Florida. Actually, what am I saying jacked up Florida? This is just Florida. That's all it is. Okay, I think we're close. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a big fan of just being close though. So here you go. Netherite shovel, guide me. All right. Um, well, I thought we were close. Now I'm, I'm not so sure because I just cored my way through this entire mountain. On the plus side, it's a lot easier to see where the pearls go now. Aha, All right over here then. Oh, hey, I found some watermelon. All right, we're right where we should be. And so all we need is the final. I think I'm gonna jump when I do this so I don't fall to my death. Yay! Um, yeah, it looks, oh Jesus. Oh, never mind. He evaporated. Excellent. Oh, one FPS, how I've missed you. Okay, I think I found something. I see you in your glowing red eyes, you little beady bastards. I had to open up a hole into the pit of the earth in order to find this damn place. Like a good dog, it always comes back. Now we play the game where I hope I didn't, you know, atomize the friggin' end area. Oh, lucky me. All right, Ender Dragon, I'm here. I'm gonna retire your ass real quick with one hit so we can get to the real fight. Also, what kind of end is this? I have to parkour my way over? Yay. Oh yeah? Oh! <laughs> I threw the friggin' axe over that way and I killed him. He was on the other side of the board. Eatily deet. My axe always comes back for my meat. Okay. For the first time ever, the hoe is going to get its due. I love hoes. Okay. Goddamn piglins are finally gonna get their due. Uh-huh. Okay. All right, quick test subject here. <laughs> okay, that looks about right so far. There we go. I don't think the hoe's gonna do it! Oh Jesus, I gotta bring out the axe! None of it's doing enough damage! How about the arrows? <laughs> now this is the royal rumble that should have happened at the end of Minecraft, damn it! No survivors! I cut a hole through the world and they're all just falling to their death! This is actually better than doing damage. I should have done this the first time. Look at it's just a giant ball of withers. 
And there you go. Now I can finally go home. <laughs> anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Minecraft. Till the next time, stay foxy, much love.